Hi and welcome to a new video. Are you getting the error message, unable to install app please try again later, when you try to install an app on your iPhone? If so, this is a common error that can be caused by several things, but it's usually easy to fix. In this video, I'm going to show you all the solutions to fix this error so that you can start installing apps again. Let's go. The first thing you can do is check your Wi-Fi connection. Make sure it's strong and stable. Alternatively, try connecting to a different Wi-Fi network or using your cellular data. You can also try forgetting your current Wi-Fi network and then collect again. Some users have reported that this fixed the issue. This problem may also occur if you use different Apple IDs for your iPhone and the App Store. So, if you are using multiple Apple IDs, make sure that the one you are using to install the app is the same as the one you are logged into the App Store with. Sometimes, signing out of your Apple ID and signing back in can help fix the error. To do this, go to Settings, select Apple ID and tap Sign Out. After a few seconds, sign back in with your Apple ID and password. Not enough storage space on your iPhone can also prevent you from installing apps. To check how much storage space you have available, go back to Settings, tap General and then iPhone Storage. If you're running low on storage, you can delete for example some apps, photos or other files to free up space. However, if that doesn't work, you can try changing some App Store settings to help fix the error. First, change the App Store Purchase option to always require a password. To do this, go back to Settings, tap Screen Time and select Content and Privacy Restrictions. Tap iTunes and App Store Purchases and set the Require Password Configuration to Always Require. Next, go back to Settings and navigate to App Store. Turn on all the settings under Automatic Download section. Also under Cellular Data section, turn on Automatic Downloads and set App Downloads to Always Allow. Try installing the app again to check if this method resolves the issue. A software bug in the App Store app can sometimes cause an error. To fix this, you can try restarting your iPhone. Keep in mind though that the specific combination of keys required to do this may vary depending on the model of iPhone you have. For iPhones with Face ID such as iPhone X, iPhone 11 or any newer model, do the following steps. The following procedure also applies for iPhone 8 and iPhone SE. Press and quickly release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then press and hold the side button. Once the Apple logo appears, release the side button and wait for your iPhone to restart. On the other hand, the process is slightly different on the iPhone 7. In this case, you need to press and hold both the volume down and side buttons simultaneously. Continue holding both buttons until the Apple logo appears on the screen. For those with an iPhone 6S or earlier, press and hold both the sleep and home buttons at the same time. Keep holding both buttons and release them when the Apple logo appears. If you've tried all the solutions mentioned in this video and you're still getting the error, it may be a problem with the app itself. You can either wait until the app developers resolve the issue or you can contact Apple support for help. You can either visit the nearest Apple Service Center or contact them directly via chat or call on their web platform. To contact them online, open your browser and visit support.apple.com on your iPhone or computer. From the dashboard, browse to the Get Support section and click Start Now. For more personalized support, sign in with your Apple ID and follow the on-screen instructions to start your request. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.